So here's the metal, it's nice and clean. There's no oil on there whatsoever. And now it's time to apply some layout dye. So since I'm going to be making features all over this part, uh, I'm going to apply dye to the entire piece. Uh, you can see on the print here, that is the edge of the original material, which will remain. This is, we're not going to cut anything, but these lines, all these solid lines are the ones I'm going to put, as well as the center lines and these radii that you see throughout. Um, now, if I was going to just lay out a single point for a hole, I would definitely use the brush version of the layout die. Um, since I'm applying for the entire piece, I'm going to go with the spray. So because the tips get a little bit clogged, you have to usually do this in a few passes. So just like spray painting, ooh, that came out pretty good. As soon as I'm done, I'll wipe off the excess dye so that it does not get clogged. It'll be good for the next person. This will dry fairly quickly, so um, it'll take a few minutes. We can speed the drying process by waving it like this with an extra piece of paper or something like that. All right, I happen to have one that I've already prepared, so we don't have to wait. And you can see it's got a nice even um, coat of layout dye. You don't want to put it on too thick because then as you scribe and strike your lines, uh, it will chip on you. So this one has a fairly light coat. And the purpose of the layout dye is so that when you do scratch the metal, we'll have some good contrast and we'll be able to see the features that we put on this metal. So let's come over here and actually here, let's, uh, we'll stop there and then 